Hey guys, Subtentbov here, and I'm here with another Xcode tutorial. So basically, um, I think it was around a month, no, sorry, not a month, uh, around a year ago, sorry. Um, around a year ago, I made an Xcode tutorial about how to implement iAds into your iOS applications. And it was a great tutorial, but the problem with it was that the method in which I presented um, in, you know, implementing iAds into an iPhone app um, is now technically a rejected method by Apple, or, or actually was quite a few months ago. And the reason for that is because the method I showed you didn't automatically hide the iAd once uh, you know the user was disconnected from the internet or if the user couldn't download an iAd to the app, right? And what that meant was that if the iPhone app, or if the iPhone or iOS device in general couldn't connect to the internet and couldn't download an ad, there was still an ad banner at the bottom of the page and it was blank and it was just left there. Now if you do that, Apple will reject your app. It's part of the guidelines. Basically, they simply want you to automatically hide the ad banner when there is no ad to, to view, right? Very simple. You just gotta hide it automatically when it's not needed. So in this tutorial, this updated tutorial of iAds, I'm gonna be showing you how you can implement a iAd into iOS 4 and above and into iPhone and iPod Touch applications. And it's basically going to show an ad banner at the bottom of the page. And when the user can connect to the internet, then it will pop up the ad. And when the user can't, then it will simply hide the advert, right? Very simple. So let's start by uh, opening up a single view application. <clears throat> I'm going to call mine ad or um, iAd test. I'm going to save it on the desktop like so. Now, first thing is we need to implement the iAd.framework. So make sure your Xcode project is selected here in the left-hand corner. Now come to the middle section of the page, scroll down and you'll find a tab which says linked frameworks and libraries. Click the plus button, now type in iAd, and you'll find it says iAd.framework. Add that to your application. So we've now imported that into our uh, Xcode project. Now come into your viewcontroller.h file. This is where we will need to import the iAd framework. So underneath where it says import UI kit, type in import, smaller than sign, iAd, iAd, forward slash iAd.h, bigger than sign, save that. Now where it says UI view controller, type in the following code. So smaller than sign, add banner, View delegate, bigger than sign, save that, right? Very simple. Next, we need to open and close two curly brackets. And in between the two curly brackets, we're going to A, define our ad banner, and we're also going to uh, make a bool statement, right? A bool statement is a bit like an if statement. Uh, it basically means it's basically yes or no kind of thing. So uh, we're going to have two void statements, which are connected to this bool statement in our viewcontroller.m file. And um, basically, what those void statements are going to do is when there is an internet connection, they will load the ad, and when there isn't, they will they will make the ad disappear, right? Very simple. So type in ad banner view space star. Now give your ad a uh, your your iAd a name. So I'm going to call it ad view, semicolon save, and come down the line. Boom space banner is visible. Semicolon save. Uh, just make sure you, all the letters of your uh, of the word bool are in capitals. Um, there we go. Save that. Very good. Now underneath our closing curly brackets, type in the following code. So at property space open brackets non atomic comma space assign. Close the brackets. Now type in bool space banner is visible semicolon save so we're done in the view controller dot h file this is our header file we're done in the coding for that now we need to come into our implementation file which is the view controller dot m file and continue the code there and i do know we have an error here but that's simply because we haven't synthesized this property yet uh, which we will do now in the view controller dot m file so let's go into the view controller dot m file Underneath where it says at implementation, type in the following code. 
So at synthesize space banner is visible, semicolon, save that. Now we need to come to our super view did load statement. This statement basically just automatically loads whatever code is in between these two curly brackets uh, when the view loads. And that will be our I add code. So now type in the following code. So add view space e equals space, open two square brackets, add banner view space a lock, close one square brackets and type in space in it with frame cg rect zero close square brackets semicolon and come down the line now type in add view dot frame space equals space cg rect off oops, sorry rect off set open a uh, bracket and type in add view dot frame comma zero comma four sixty point zero f close one bracket semicolon and save that line so basically what this last line of code did was it's initiating where the ad will appear um, at startup so that will be at the, basically that will be at the bottom of the screen so now come down the line and type in add view dot required content size identifiers space equals space open the square brackets and type in ns set space set with object so uh, with object colon add banner and now you need to decide which orientation you want your ad so for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to select portrait uh, but it, as you can see it does support landscape as well but I'm going to select portrait so type select portrait then close the square brackets semicolon and come down a line now type in add view dot current content size identifier space equals space add banner content size identifier and we want in portrait uh, but once again you can select landscape if you want to semicolon and come down the line open square brackets self dot view space add sub view colon and then add view close square brackets semicolon and come down the line add view dot delegate equals self semicolon and come down a line self dot banner is visible that's our basically our boom function equals no semicolon save so now we're done in our view did load statement so once again basically what this code is doing is <coughs> sorry <coughs> got a bit of a cough right now so uh, sorry about my voice but anyway let's continue so basically what this uh, bit of code here is doing is once the app loads and as soon as the app loads or as soon as this view loads technically speaking uh, an advert or an, an iAd banner will be created at the bottom of the page in portrait format and it will appear but only as long as we've got an internet connection now we've sorted we've basically sorted out the creation of the ad banner right and we've sorted out where we want it to appear and so on but the problem is we haven't sorted out or we haven't specified what we want uh, iOS to do with the ad banner if we're not connected to the internet or if we are connected to the internet right so underneath the closing curly bracket of our view did load statement we need to uh, specify two different void statements and these void statements are technically speaking connected to our bool statement which was banner is visible right so let's start with the first void statement and this is the banner view did load add statement so basically this is when we want our ads to be on the page so type in void banner view did load add 
and simply select that option. So you want banner, view did load, add, colon, um, open brackets, add banner view, space, start, close brackets, banner. Now open and close two curly brackets. And in between the two curly brackets, we're going to type in an if statement. So if space open brackets exclamation mark self dot banner is visible close brackets now we're going to open and close two more curly brackets because obviously these are the curly brackets for the if statement itself and now we're going to type in the following code so open square brackets UI view space begin animations colon and then type in at open two quotation marks and in between the two quotation marks we're simply going to type in animate add banner on and for context we're going to select null so n-u-l-l -L, close square brackets semicolon and come down the line now type in banner dot frame space equals space cg rect offset now for cg rect space rect we're going to type in banner for cg float dx we're going to type in we're going to, well actually we're going to get rid of that and we're going to put banner dot frame sorry about that guys banner dot frame uh, then we put a comma the next one we want to type in is space zero comma space minus fifty dot zero f close the bracket and type in a semicolon and save that. So now come down a line and type in square brackets UI view space commit animations close square brackets semicolon. Now come down another line and type in self dot banner is visible space equals space yes semicolon and save that. So this code basically makes our ad banner pop up at the bottom of the page if there is an internet connection. Now we need one last uh, uh, void statement which is going to hide the ad um, if there isn't an internet connection. So uh, type in void banner view colon open brackets add banner view space star close brackets banner space did fail to receive add with error colon open brackets ns error space star close brackets error now open and close two curly brackets and in between these two curly brackets we're going to initiate another if statement so type in if space open brackets self dot banner is visible close brackets open and close two more curly brackets and in between these curly brackets we're going to type in the code for this if statement so open square brackets UI view space begin animations colon put an at sign and put two quotation marks and in between these quotation marks we're going to type in animate add banner off. After the closing quotation marks, type in space context null, close the square brackets, semicolon, and come down a line. Now we're going to type in banner dot frame space equals space cg rect offset banner dot frame just get rid of these bits. So banner dot frame, uh, comma space zero, comma space fifty point zero f. Close the brackets, semicolon, and come down the line. Open square brackets. UI view space commit animations. Close square brackets, semicolon, and come down the line and type in self dot banner is visible space equals space no close square brackets save that 
and we're done for the code, right? So you can see it's not actually too hard to implement an iAd into your iOS app. This code works on iPhone, iPod Touch, and technically speaking, iPad as well. Um, and now we are going to run the app. So let's run it. This works with iOS 4 and higher. So uh, let's see if it runs properly. So our app has loaded, and there we go. You saw the ad actually popped up at the bottom of the screen automatically, and that's because we are connected to the internet. If we press it, there we go, boom. An iAd, a test iAd opens up, and it confirms that iAds are running correctly. There we go. So uh, sorry about my voice. It's a bit weird today. Um, I've got a bit of a cough, so sorry about that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it's helped. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to implement iAds into your iOS applications. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.